walking on the beach this morning, Saturday morning. And it's just such a always beautiful morning. It's cold. I don't know if you can see that there's this all this frosty stuff on the ground. <laughs> it's like minus four. It's a, they say it's colder than it's been here in a long time. So yeah, anyways, I got bare hands too. So I, I'm going to do my best to hold this phone. And I just wanted to tell you a bit about Tofino because it it really is a magical place. And, and what I mean by that is that there is an element of feeling so divinely supported to your spiritual journey, your, your, like your heart. And I've, I've done two cranial sacral sessions here and it was a girl, I just randomly Googled it um, after I had listened to a talk with Susie Batiz and she said that it was so magical for her. And, you know, after trying you know, ayahuasca and I've done that. I just, I want to bring in more and more things into my life that can help me evolve still as this human. And there's just been some really magical things that have happened along the way this week. And one funny one in particular was I thought that I had actually left my, my backpack on the beach and this was Wednesday night and sat down in front of the fireplace there in the in the great room here at the Long Beach Lodge and uh, I sort of lost my mind and I, I had just come in from being on the beach and did some filming and stuff and then I said to Ken I said you, you got to go out there and get it so he takes off and immediately as he takes off um, one of the servers there who we've really fallen in love with she's just amazing girl it turns out she has a history in Burlington <laughs> go figure and uh, she's here for her spiritual evolution and she had a gift for me. And so while Ken's outside looking for my purse and I'm like losing my mind going, okay, everything's in there. Everything's this. I'm like, you know, you go through the whole shopping list. If the, if the purse is gone, what if this, what if that? She gives me this present and I hadn't even had an opportunity to tell her like, you know, what happened and Ken had just gone down to the beach. She, it was just so divine. She gives me this bag. I open it up and it's a candle and on the outside of the packaging, it said calm. And I looked at it and there was just something brewing inside of me and already and from the day before from some beautiful things that had happened to me. And I had tears running down my face for just this gentleness to waft through me and put aside any of the the crap and the triggers and stuff that that chronically you know I know riddle my life and I know that I'm not I'm not alone like it happens to a ton of us and and it's just paying attention to these serendipitous messages and this is coming from the divine for us and it's just so mind-blowing I've had a number of these situations now so Today, I'm excited because I am going to um, this course that just happened into my feed. And it, the girl that I did the two sessions, the craniosacral sessions with me, she's actually hosting an event and it happens to be today. And it happens to be while I'm here in Tofino. And it's a female or feminine, sorry, a feminine embodiment um, workshop. It's four hours long. And we're doing, gonna be doing visualize, visualization, meditations, um, body movement, uh, cranial sacral therapy again, um, just talking and um, sharing and music and beautiful holistic teas. And anyways, I'm, I'm so excited to be doing this event. So it's from 11 to three today. And you know, it's like when you're on your path, right? And you just have to surrender to what is surrender to life, sur like stop the control and let go and let things evolve. And I have seen this happen to me firsthand. And like I said, this, this week is, is unlike really anything that I have experienced. And you know, it's like more and more it's just happening and One of the biggest catalysts for me this year, for 2019, has been seeing Joe Dispenza 
and uh, doing his one week long retreat and um, de really delving deeply into the quantum field and understanding how connected we are to one another and we can't rise up alone. There's no individuality anymore and 2020 is gonna be all about that. It's this collective consciousness that's just pulling us forward. So um, I gotta put this phone down because my fingers are actually becoming like, like frozen raw, like so cold. And um, I just wanted to tell you today, message for today is just open your heart and open your heart to all that possibly can be and do your best to stay present. Don't go back to the past. Don't trip out to the future. The past stories are gone. Just take the emotion from it and then work on the emotion from it. But the actual stories themselves are gone. They're not happening anymore. It's it, it's over. And all we have is this present moment. A dog just came after me and scared the pants off me. <laughs> um, anyway, so um, that was so funny. <laughs> oh God. There we go. There was a jolt of lightning from my, from my present moment. Anyways, I love you guys. And, and like I said, just stay present, be present. And, and don't say no to the experiences that are coming around because they're magical. They're all magical. I love you.